Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go into the next recipe in the Eat Like a Gilmore cookbook. And we're going to make the three egg omelette. And this is the omelette that Suki made for Michelle and he refused. Um, so being a Suki omelette, this is not one that you're going to get at Denny's. It's got goat cheese and sherry and pancetta. So I think it'll be delicious and really interesting to try. I'm not new to making omelettes, but this is a new flavor of omelette for me. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get to it. Okay, so I've already whisked my eggs and we need to put them to the side for a minute because we need to fry up the pancetta. I was able to find the pancetta in my local deli. So you'll probably find yours there as well. It says to fry over medium high until the edges are lightly brown. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna flip it. Probably see what she means about the browning. I honestly thought it was going to smell like bacon, but it doesn't. It just smells like pork. Alright, it looks good. Lightly brown. I'm going to put it onto a plate on the side. It's just going to sit there for a minute. Um, back to medium high heat. And we're going to start with a tablespoon of sherry and a tablespoon of olive oil. And then coat the pan with those. There's the sherry. Smells good. And here's the olive oil. Just going to spread it around a little bit. Put the pan. Alright, now let's put the egg in. Alright, we gotta spread that amongst the pan. This is gonna heat pretty quickly, I think. It says to cook it for 20 to 30 seconds, but as you all know, my stove runs hot, so I'm gonna turn it down a little bit so we can keep up. Okay, so um, salt and pepper. Three tablespoons of goat cheese, which is what we're doing now. This is a hearty omelet, isn't it? And then the, the pinta. I'm going to put that on there too. I didn't get any parsley because it's supposed to be used as a garnish. I think <laughs> looking at the picture and looking at my omelet, I think I made the pancetta a little too big. Looks all good. We're gonna tuck it. Oh yeah, comes off good. Tuck it over, my egg's falling apart. All right, see if I can get it to tuck onto the plate. Uh-oh. This is the hardest part of omelets. Now I have to do it on camera, so it's gonna be definite failure, right? Um, okay. Well, it fell apart. It wasn't for lack of grease in the pan, that's for sure. Okay, I'm ready to try it. Okay, I'm ready to try it. Looks pretty good. It smells delicious. It looks really hot. I'm trying to burn my mouth while trying it. I'm trying to get a good bite. I got goat cheese and pancetta in there with the egg. Oh 
that's delicious. The pancetta is a little chewy. But the goat cheese and the omelet is really good. And I do believe that might be a new twist that I'm going to continue on doing on my omelets. Not sure about the pancetta. I think bacon would do just fine with it. The sherry and the olive oil is good. But it definitely won't be a regular thing for me. But maybe for a fancy brunch or something, it would be perfect. So, thank you for coming in with me today and trying to make a three egg omelet, Suki style. I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe because I have more coming to you. Bye!